like so. That wasn't very well chopped up, but. Um, and then I've got my onion. Then I've got cilantro. some cilantro. So we are whipping up our homemade guacamole, and this is gonna be so amazing. We have our stainless steel mixing bowl, mix and chop, avocado tool, coated utility knife. Now he's got the coated Santoku knife. And we've got lime juice, avocado, jalapeno, red onion, and he's at, getting ready to add the cilantro. And the Santoku knife. It smells so good is unbelievable for this process right here. Oh, and he did use the citrus press as well. I left that one out. What I do earlier is you just kind of roll it tight. Chop like so. Then I change my angle. And again, you're kind of cutting this to your texture of liking. I like rough cilantro in my guacamole. So then you Sprinkle that in there, like so. Um, and some tomatoes. Tomato. Which I just realized. I don't think I. Use those over there. Well, I bought some. Yeah, I bought some, so. This is gonna be so yummy. All right, so then we're gonna add the last item, which is gonna be our tomatoes. Mix it up, and then you just taste test. So we'll add some um, salt from our salt grinder, and just enjoy it. So make sure that you have the tools you need to enjoy your next Mexican night. And now you have the secret goods for your best guacamole. And I love how um, he keeps the onions, like he's added them already in there, but he adds it, he keeps a little extra to the side. Because if all else fails, if he doesn't end up adding them, then he can use it with the tacos or whatever we're going to have. All right, so add them in and mix it up, babe. Let's see that beautiful texture. You got your scraper. Look at those beautiful colors coming together. Homemade guac. Awesome. Yep, perfect. And that's our homemade guacamole.